Tonight, the officer spoke only with News 4's Cameron Taylor about the support he's receiving and what's next now that his home is destroyed. This is what's left of Officer Greg Triplett's driveway. You normally can't see this culvert. While Triplett's home and belongings are destroyed, he's grateful his family is safe. And stuff like this you don't even think about until you see it. The emotion set in as Officer Greg Triplett shows us around the house. Precious memories like the Wall of Fame, as he calls it, survived the floodwaters. Just within minutes. It hit. It's like a tidal wave coming in from the ocean. Triplett was the only officer on duty when it began flooding in Waverly. The situation became dire, and Triplett called in for help. Then the 911 call started pouring in like this one. I'm upstairs. It's already got the downstairs, and I can't get out. Triplett got a similar call. His wife told him she and their four kids were trapped inside their home. It's up to the window now. Then the phone lines went down. Oh, I went crazy. I I, went, I didn't know, you know, for like three hours. I had no idea if I had a family left. I didn't know. TWRA officers helped rescue his family with a boat. Said they had five people, which that was my family. And I was, you know, it was, I was so grateful. Triplett's uniform is one of the few pieces of clothing he has now. Sentimental items like family pictures are ruined, and he no longer has a car to drive. So his daughter created a GoFundMe page to help, and the response has been incredible. It's heartwarming to know that there's so many people that, that I don't even know personally that are praying for my family. Mary Beth Frazier says the page is for future expenses, like a new home, vehicles, and furniture. She's been supporting her dad any way she can. The things that he's seen when all this happened is really taking a toll on him emotionally and a lot of our officers and first responders. So just trying to let him know that I'm here for him and that I'm praying for him. Her dad's house was knocked off its foundation. A power pole and a Bradford pear tree are the only reasons it didn't float away. For Triplett, he's grateful for those helping in the community and beyond. It's amazing to see that. It's nice to see that. And it lets you know that, you know, hey, it's, everything's still okay. While he figures out what's next, the police chief gave him some time off. He says he's mentally ready to go back, but what he can't get out of his mind is losing contact with his family that day. See, that's the thing about being a police officer. We're no different than anybody else. For now, Triplett is staying with family. He's already applied for FEMA funds, and if you would like to help, we have more information on the News 4 app. In Waverly, Cameron Taylor, News 4, Nashville.